If you have used a social media app or a news website on your phone lately, it is very likely that you came across a design pattern called infinite scrolling. With infinite scrolling, we will never reach the bottom of the page because new content loads continuously as we scroll down. For some websites and apps, infinite scrolling works very well. And this is mainly because of three benefits that infinite scrolling offers. First, it reduces interruptions. There's no button that we have to press to load more content or to get to the next page with more items. Instead, we have a constant never-ending flow of content. This creates a seamless experience where users stay engaged for a longer amount of time. That's one reason why infinite scroll is so popular on social media sites, but also on entertainment and news websites. Second, infinite scrolling lowers interaction costs. If the page loads new items continuously and quickly, without users having to press a button and wait for a new page to load, the interaction cost is diminished. Moreover, if the users want to navigate back to items that they have seen already, they do not have to press the back button and wait for a previous page to load, they can simply scroll up. And third, infinite scrolling is well suited for mobile devices. On mobile, users keep their fingers close to the small screen and are very comfortable with scrolling. Despite these benefits, there are several usability issues that can be caused by infinite scrolling. These usability issues can severely impact our product's user experience. One of these usability issues is the difficulty of refining content. In infinite scrolling, there are no page numbers or other landmarks that help the users orient themselves. Thus, it can be difficult and sometimes even impossible to refine content that was loaded within an infinite list of items. Another problem with infinite scrolling is the inability to access the footer section of a page. The footer is located at the very bottom of a page and can provide information such as return policies or contact information. However, if we have a constant stream of new content, it might be impossible to ever get to this footer section. And lastly, infinite scrolling usually leads to an increased page load. While this might not be a problem for all of our users, it can have a big impact on any user in an area with low bandwidth or users on limited data plans. In general, we do not recommend using infinite scrolling if your users try to find something specific on your site, such as a specific article or item, and additionally, avoid this design pattern if your users will want to compare multiple items within a long list, or if they tend to just focus on a few items at the top of a list. Infinite scrolling typically works best for situations where users will want to scroll through homogenous items with no particular task or goal in mind. For example, in entertainment, news, or social media apps. 